is going, y'all? Right now, I am in one of the many sort of uh, commercial cores, the business districts, if you will, of the suburb of Woodbury. Woodbury is truly a, a top shelf suburb here in the Twin Cities. And we are pr pretty much literally surrounded by suburban amenities right here. I'm excited to show you this place. We're gonna say this a bunch. It's basically the ultimate suburb in our opinion. All right, let's go. And this is the Shane Company. And if you were from Minnesota, if you grew up here, you know that this could be in only one of two locations. That's in Minnetonka at 394 and Hopkins Crossroad, or in Woodbury at I-94 and Radio Drive. That was absolutely beat into our heads on terrestrial radio. I don't even know if it is anymore, but I don't really listen to the radio. Anyhow, my name is Jesse Lynch, and I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We're called To The Twin Cities, and you can feel free to check out our website, tothetwincities.com. But this YouTube channel, it's all about helping you find a place to call home, a place to land here in the beautiful Twin Cities of Minnesota. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating here from a different city, state, country, planet, dimension, whatever it is. Relocations, first time home buyers. So what we do, and that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those things appeal to you, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell so you can get notified when we put out these videos. And if you wouldn't mind while I have you here, give the video a thumbs up, say something nice, say something helpful, say something funny in the comments. If you're from here, uh, what are your thoughts on the, on the Shane Company thing? Did you also, could you, could you recite that like almost instantly by just hearing the word Shane Company? Yeah, me too. And if you're not from here, if you don't know that by heart, but you're trying to move here or you just moved here, trying to buy a house, whatever, any kind of real estate transaction, whether you're relocating, trying to buy a house, trying to sell a house, get a hold of us. We'd love to be the ones who help you. Feel free to go to our website, tothetwincities.com, or you can shoot us an email directly to info at tothetwincities.com. It'll lead to the same inbox, so it's completely up to you how you do it. We just ask that you do. It is a beautiful fall day here. I mean, all the trees, it is, I mean, look at this, crunch season. Ah, oh, so satisfying. <laughs> but I'm excited to share Woodbury with you. I actually shot a video of Woodbury probably about two years ago. And I, you know, it just seems like I should do it again. It's a beautiful time of year. I'm trying to get in as much of this as I can because it is just such a lovely, just visual feast that is the fall colors. And right now I'm in yet another commercial core of Woodbury. There's so many, so many things like right here. I feel like you could like go to a new establishment once a day for a year and you wouldn't leave like a half mile radius of this spot right here. But all right, we're gonna meet up with Nick and uh, yeah, let's get after it, shall we? Real quick, let me just... What's going on y'all? We are here in Woodbury today at Carver Lake Park. Yes. We are on the west side of Woodbury, just to the southeast of 494. There's a slight hum in the background. We're still holding on to some of the fall colors here. It's a, a nice situation. It's beautiful. Yeah. A little bit of uh, intro to Woodbury. Woodbury, Barry. However you like it, potato, <laughs> potato. Burry. Burry, Woodbury. Uh, ultimate suburbia of the east. Yeah, Maple, like Maple Grove of the east, Eden Prairie of the east. Uh, some would say potentially Egan. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get more suburban than Woodbury. Yeah. It's nice here, that being said. Yeah. Truly the ultimate suburb. The, yeah, this foliage is beautiful. But yeah, like the the most suburban suburb, maybe in the whole Twin Cities. Um, it, Arguably. Like, 
like all of the neighborhoods are so designed they all have a sign on it that says like yeah, yeah you yeah. know tamarack woods or something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. and no shade i i think woodbury's beautiful um and yeah like i would i would live here in a heartbeat it is it is a beautiful place indeed and this is uh carver carver lake park yeah carver lake is just over that lake. way really yeah it's a small lake but it is the drive-in's nice it is beautiful all the trails here are beautiful and we've been dodging a lot of dogs and people yeah just so many people popular spot yeah for sure i feel like it's like a very dog neighborhood yeah you know that makes sense suburbia i mean yeah yeah absolutely so okay so woodbury is uh an eastern suburb right it's to the east of st paul um it's probably one of the easternmost suburbs in all of the twin cities maybe afton counts but i hardly think of afton as a suburb yeah you know we lump it in there with the uh, hastings yeah well it's even Still more are. rural like yeah. hastings at least has like a little downtown yeah like, you know afton's, afton's quite rural similar housing stock over there yeah yeah for sure but so anyhow we're, we're to the east of the metro like all the way east so it seems like it's sort of the eastern answer to the sort of high-end stuff on the west side right so mm -hmm. for p folks who you know want to work or have to work in st paul woodbury is a very good option because of just where it is so one of the biggest attractions of woodbury are going to be the employment options one of the largest employers in the state 3m you may have heard of them are headquartered here uh, we have personally worked with a handful of people that have relocated here specifically to work there and then also the schools are pretty darn good uh, especially for being over on the eastern side yeah. and by the way if you happen to work with me if you're watching this hey if you are, are using the relocation company that they provide we actually are uh good to go with them so serve them yeah by all means reach out um and yeah we got that down it's pretty easy albeit slightly annoying uh, <laughs> <They're great. laughs> yeah yeah but yeah so geographically the the boundaries of woodbury are as follows the northern boundary is i-94 to the east you have manning avenue um to this to the to the south you fundamentally have the city of cottage grove it's not really a street that makes sense it's sort of <laughs> just a county road huh well there's a street in afton that is the it was very confusing to figure out there's a street in afton that is like the line but then the street disappears once it gets to woodbury so <laughs> it's just a geographical uh like yeah, yeah yeah line you know a latitude line longitude which one's which uh latitude goes north south okay. longitude east west cool. if i'm wrong bag on me in the comments yeah. i deserve that that's yeah. off the top that confidence we paid attention in high school yeah. clearly absolutely so uh, and then the west border is century avenue um kind of maplewood over there city of newport is over there and newport, you're yeah. yeah right yeah newport maybe we'll do a video on that it's pretty small though it's an interesting little niche yeah um so you're maybe 20 25 minutes to the airport you're probably 25 30 minutes to downtown minneapolis and maybe only 15 minutes or so to uh downtown st paul clearly a st paul suburb mm -hmm. population here pretty big it's the eighth largest in the state wow. Seventy-seven thousand people right yeah not surprising like that. it's dense and it's just house think about how few apartments or condos or townhomes are very residential it's just house 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 you're starting to see some more townhomes i've seen kind of the mi lennar yep. style row townhomes kind of over by it's east ridge mm -hmm. over by presswick golf club yeah definitely the townhome uh is real here but yeah it's interesting you know how these neighborhoods are so just single family heavy um and i i think that's by design you yeah. know we, Builder we, neighborhoods. Yeah. Builder neighborhoods, which and, we'll get to. And we kind of joke about the fact that they're just like, the, the housing styles here are pretty <laughs> consistent, maybe it would be the way to say it. Yeah. Um, kind of bland. And, you know, I mean, they're beautiful homes. Like, independently, they're really nice homes. Yeah. They're not interesting, right? And this is all stuff we'll talk about pros and cons. Yep. Let's get to that in just a second. Schools here. Schools, like Nick said, are outstanding top yeah. five yep you know in that top five pretty consistently 
no matter who you ask. So Woodbury is known as having very good schools. Specifically, there are really good sort of like charter magnet schools, STEM schools, the more like techie side of public schools are generally all rated very good here. <laughs> and, uh, but it does get a little bit complicated in terms of there's actually three school districts that serve Woodbury. Three districts. Geographically, it's a pretty large city. So yeah. Stillwater is gonna be an A minus. South Washington County, A minus as well. And then your North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale, it's a mouthful. It's gonna be a B. So still decent. Yeah, I will say, I, as I just did Oakdale uh, recently as well, and the portion that serves Woodbury is gonna be better, right? So the schools in that, uh, that Oakdale, Maplewood, North St. Paul district that serve Woodbury are gonna be better. So like Tartan High School, for example, which I'll let you take over high school. But Tartan High School gets an A minus. That's generally pretty good and yeah. better than the median of all that. Yeah, Tartan is good. Uh, in Woodbury proper, you've got Woodbury Senior High School, solid A. East Ridge is going to be a solid A. And then to the east, again, you've got Stillwater, which is an A minus. Uh, yeah. Stillwater yeah. is highly sought after as well. So, yeah, you got is. a lot of good schools going on over here. Yeah, for sure. It, it's hard to miss, but that said, they do vary quite a bit. Right, so mm -hmm. certainly as you get into the middle school, uh, elementary school, it's gonna be a pretty big range. But in general, when you're in that sort of South Washington County, that's those are generally going to be the top rated schools in Woodbury. Yep. Stillwater is also known as a good school district though. So yeah. you can play the uh, you can play the lines to get into whatever district you want to do. Yeah. People do that uh, over on the west side to get into Wyzetta schools by living in Plymouth mm -hmm. to avoid the uh, the price point of Wyzetta. Yeah. Well, and Wyzetta's tiny. We just did Wyzetta too. Yeah. yeah. Wyzetta's tiny. But and that said, it's a it's a very desirable spot. People like are want to live here. People are paying good money to live here, and the median home price is going to be more expensive by a healthy margin than the median of the Twin Cities overall. Across all property types, median is 400. That said, m most houses, I would say the barrier for entry for a single family house is right around 400. Yep, totally. Yeah, so, you know, a, a median of single family home, it's gonna be more than that. But you can get into Woodbury if for around 400. I suspect to get into that South Washington County it's closer to five. I will chime in a little bit of context as well, just to uh, kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. 400, you know, even like 425, 450 in Woodbury, a lot of the housing stock, which we will probably touch on this more later, but it's that late 80s, early 90s, 400,000 is untouched. It's dated. You've got the Formica counters, the red oak, the original mechanicals. So that's kind of what you can expect. And we even alluded to that earlier with like the, the builder neighborhoods where, mm -hmm. you, you know, shown the same house 30 times in Woodbury, which is not a bad thing, but yeah. it just is what it is. Similar to Eden Prairie, which we just uh, did again recently. So check that out. Yeah. And yeah, you know, it's, it's just going to be, it's one of those spots where it's still very, very nice, very desirable. You get a lot of house, big houses here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like you're going to run into some, even on the bottom end of the price range that just are maybe uninspired. Aesthetically, it might not uh, tickle your fancy from a modern design standpoint. Yeah, dated, you know. Yeah. That said, there are some really well cared for a lot of them. Yeah, true, true, true. Because in general, the folks who live here are of means, right? And can take care of it. But so you're not gonna find a whole lot of like dilapidated houses. No, lots of one owner houses. Yes, indeed. A lot of 20 year old one owner houses that haven't been touched but a lot of really beautiful houses that have been maintained. There are a few neighborhoods over by Prestwick, Prestwick Golf Club. Yeah, I mean, there's some absolutely bananas houses here. Yeah. The kind of houses where you go, like me as a kid, I'd be like, people, people have houses like this, you yeah. know? Yeah. But yeah, all right, let's uh, go for a drive, talk pros and cons in just a sec.
All right, y'all, sun is going down a little bit, but it's still this beautiful kind of, you know, golden hour, maybe just past golden hour. Yeah. So nice, and we're just in a neighborhood that we think is a good example of kind of the newer side of Woodbury. That's right, we're- so tall. It's beautiful. Look how tall it is. Yeah. Um, Beach. Yeah, <laughs> it is, and this is just a beautiful neighborhood in general. Uh, but, you know, we're in the southeast corner um, actually, the, the previous Woodbury Virtual Tour, we were just we were in Stone Mill, just like one neighborhood that way. Um, so here, just a little bit north of that, it's it's considerably newer. These are probably all built in the last in the last decade or so. Uh, when we say trick or treatable, this neighborhood, this is it. Yeah, it comes to mind. Uh, it's even close together, so. Every house is decorated. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. Pros and cons, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pros and cons, first pro, generally very good schools. Yeah. Across the board, good schools. Which we've touched on. Yeah, so you already know that. Second, really nice outdoor spaces. Not a ton, it's not like just a bunch, it's like Lake Elmo is like just so much open space open land this is much more developed but there are uh, western suburbs too a lot more green space over there yeah but uh, yeah I, I think though that there's a lot of like sort of forested area here but the parks that are here are pretty much immaculate yeah well and kind of a caveat to that beautiful sidewalks neighborhoods yeah all throughout Woodbury so the neighborhoods themselves are very very pleasant to go through a stro go for a stroll through your development yeah and in addition to the sidewalks, a lot of these will lead to oftentimes kind of like a, a central area within the community that's maybe got like a, a, a playground, a small a small ball diamond, something to that effect. Yeah. So a tennis court, basketball court, a lot of that here. Uh, and you're starting to see now in the really new developments, you'll start to see amenity centers. Yep. Like you'll a, start to see, uh, we'll get to it. That's but. Stonehill actually, yeah. You'll start to see HOAs. Community yeah. pool, yeah. And yeah. One of the few times here in Minnesota uh, we've had a lot more people uh, lately reaching out and asking about that. Um, it's uncommon to have a detached single family home dwelling with an HOA. And even in this place here, it's probably clearing the sidewalks, the roads, it's minimal, but yeah. you're starting to see more of that. Yeah, in Woodbury too, I think. Yeah. Um, Woodbury maybe has more HOAs for single families than almost anywhere else. In the Apple metro. Valley too, starting to see more. Yeah, Lakeville, mm -hmm. yeah, down that way. It's kind of a newer thing here. Yeah, mostly know? in the new build communities. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I, I think another pro is just, we, you know, we always say it, it's kind of the ultimate suburb. All of the amenities, all of the suburban amenities that a person would need, yeah. you're gonna have here. By the way, what, what could they possibly be doing with the dumpster? No man knows. These houses are so new. <laughs> okay, it's hard to tell because actually the, the trees in this, in this neighborhood are relatively mature, like probably 10 years plus a lot of them, but all the homes are like, like brand new. Yeah. So I don't know if uh, I, I bet these are about storm. yeah about ten years old. Yeah, you know. Yeah, if that. Yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah these roofs are. Yeah, if you can see behind us, the, the neighborhood's gorgeous. It is. It is truly, truly a beautiful spot. Uh, there's kind of a big like depression with like a lake or like a, a little marsh over there. Yeah, it's a collection area. So cool. So tons of suburban amenities and even like high end amenities. Yeah. You're not going to necessarily get like a Cub and a Walmart. You're, yeah, probably no longer. There's a huge Kowalski's here. Yeah, co nice Kowalski's, which if you don't know, is kind of a high-end grocery store. There is a Costco. There's Costco, there's Whole Foods. In Woodbury, Whole yeah. Foods, uh, you know. Lifetime Fitness, Upscale Health Club. Yep, um, yeah, really nice Lifetime yeah. Fitness, actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I belong to Lifetime. It's not cheap, let me tell <laughs> yeah, you. It's true. not Equinox, but you know, yeah. it's Equinox of the Midwest. It is, actually, yeah, yeah. Midwest and Ox. Um, but yeah, it is, it's, uh, it, those sort of amenities are, more expensive, kind of like a little bougier. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of bouge. I would say bouge <laughs> is a fair <laughs> word to use in Woodbury. Yeah, well, I mean, look at this. I know, yeah. I Which, think they could have used another gable probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the roofers are probably like, God dang. So another pro of Woodbury, house size, square footage. Big house. Big, yeah. huge, some might say. Yeah. There's plenty of it, uh, plenty of uh, uh, space in these homes. Um, you're gonna have the four bedroom with the office space, with the basement. Like a five bed, four bath is not unheard of. No, and in fact, it's borderline common well, here. Especially in this neighborhood that we're in right now. I mm -hmm. mean, if, if you've got four bedrooms, you're probably on the smaller side here. Yeah. 90% of these homes have a three car garage. Some of them even, even have four. Yeah. Um, Monster some these, basements. Yeah, walkout basements. 
uh, going in line with that as well, the lots are, you know, they're pretty big out here. Decent. Depends on which neighborhood you're in. The setback, meaning the side-by-side -side proximity to your neighbor is gonna be less. Um, they don't feel completely crammed in, but the, the lots are gonna be longer lengthwise. So you'll still have that usable backyard, let the dog out and run in. Uh, a lot of these homes, at least in this neighborhood, they don't have fences, but uh, in my experience, you can put fences up if it's wrought iron, white vinyl, cedar, even black chain link. Uh, usually have not had any uh, folks having issues with that, so. But yeah, because of that HOA piece, you're probably gonna have to make sure that material is allowed. Silver chain link's not gonna fly here, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, another pro, just kind of rattling off here. These homes are obviously quite new. You've got your poured foundation, your spray foam insulation, your double pane windows. Architectural shingles. Architectural shingles. A lot of them are even impact resistant these days. Uh, so just all the perks of modern building materials and the modern layout. Yeah. Lots of love, lots of love. Yeah, the homes here, like, you know, they, they really are nice. I think across the board, like 98% of the homes are very nicely done and then i think another pro uh, is just obviously you're seeing we're like walking on the street quiet streets peaceful streets mm -hmm. you know peaceful easy feeling it's just like barely chill any here noise. yeah i can't hear anything we're also in the southeast corner so i don't even know what the closest highway would be 94 maybe okay. yeah that's a ways away some of the areas might have some highway noise as you get closer to 94 or 494 but you know just like Kids could play in the street. You know, you could have a b-ball hoop. Well, if the HOA allows. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, and you'd probably feel good about it. Personally, I would feel great about it. But just an elevated sort of lifestyle, be. nice kind of borderlining like luxury suburb. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Definitely. The neighborhood we're in right now is, you said it earlier, it's bougie. Yeah, the uh, quietest bougie. bar. I love that. There's golden doodles here. What does that tell you? <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, we'll stop raving about it. Let's dive into some actual cons yeah. as we see it. First one for me is that, you know, we already said it, it's the ultra, ultra suburb, the ultimate suburb. It has, uh, it's a bit cookie cutter, mm -hmm. a bit bland from a characteristic standpoint these houses are pretty and i like this street i think it's aesthetically pleasing but it's not that exciting they've made an effort to mix up the roof lines the colors the materials but by and large you know different varieties of as neutral, you look around you're not like ooh, that one yeah they're yeah. all nice they're all nice but architecturally there's there's all built the same time and all that so yeah. you're, you're not going to really see like anything too inspiring architecturally here yeah you know and going in line with that we were talking about the size of these homes they're going to be pricey yeah i'd have to hop on home spotter and check but i would imagine that barrier to entry in this neighborhood is going to be looking like 650 six seven yeah that's what i was thinking maybe a smaller one without a finished basement could be in the 650 yep, exactly. range a lot of these might be that that 3,000 square feet finish and then you've got the walkout basement that's yeah. not even finished so you're talking 4,500, 5,000 yeah. square foot houses if you were to put the money into the basement. So. I bet the, I bet like the average square footage of homes, of single family homes in Woodbury is close to four. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like they're me. all big. Even the old ones are big. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. These yeah. ones have gotten, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> When you're in the more of the heart of the heart of Woodbury, you get a lot of the ones that are 2,500 and 3,200 in there. Mm -hmm. These ones over here, the new ones, they're just huge. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Um, <laughs> McMansions, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I think another con, it, you know, we we say this a lot about these like further out suburbs. It's not walkable. You can go for a really nice walk. Yeah, but you're not walking to do any of your errands. No. It's car dependent. There's, it's no, you know. Uh, coincidence that everything has a three-car garage. It's not even like it's not even bikeable, really, for yeah. errands. Unless like, you're unless you're like a, very a well, cyclist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like bags swinging off your handlebars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, saddlebags. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know. So another con, uh, which doesn't really apply to the neighborhood that we're in, but really, if you look at it, it was basically this neighborhood. 30 years ago, one of the older neighborhoods, which feels weird to say, yeah. <laughs> 1991 here. <laughs> yeah. uh, but those those homes are, the, the, unless they've had a, 
a storm claim or something, your, your roof is reaching life. You've probably got that original furnace. Maybe they've swapped the water heater out once. Yeah. So you're starting to get some of that deferred maintenance coming up again. Old windows. Old windows, 90s casement windows with condensation decay. You gotta love those. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. You know, and, and I think part, you know, they're not small houses. So when you see a house that's dated, that is not going to be a cheap fix. It's this already is, chilling at 450, yeah. 500, and you're like, wow. This isn't some rambler, you know, yeah. like these are big houses. If you don't like the siding, that's not a cheap fix. Yeah, pray you for know. a hailstorm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know, and same with everything, everything that goes into it. Utilities. If you want to paint it, it's like, well, that's a lot of paint. Heating and cooling, especially some of these that have vaulted ceilings. Yeah. You know, you're going to lose some of that heat. It feels grand, that's cool. Um, yeah. But you know, the, your, your expenses are going to be much higher on these. For sure. They're more efficient, but they're just, they're huge. <laughs> they are huge, yeah. <laughs> that said, like, obviously if you need the space, then you're like, well, yeah, what, who, I know. I know that it's big. I know it's going to cost a lot. But yeah, like there's a lot. These houses, when renovated, they have nice facades. Even the 30 year old homes have nice looking facades. Yep, I agree. It doesn't feel super dated. It doesn't feel like cheap. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. they were they were never cheap houses here. They might be cosmetically leave a little uh, something to be desired. It's not a stunning Tudor that you'll see over by yeah. Lake of the Isles. Yeah, but, but they're they're nice houses and they look nice. A yeah. lot of them have brick facades, like Jeff is saying. They'll they'll look good for some time to come. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I think that's what we got for pros and cons. We're gonna hop over uh, somewhere else, talk through the uh, for fans of section. Right now we are at Colby Lake Park. We're losing light, but I don't know if you can see over there. Pretty, pretty beautiful sky action going on. So sky action news isn't it sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a news thing. Uh, but yeah, we're there's a beautiful park. It's not huge, but it is adjacent to Valley Park. Valley, Valley uh, Cross Crossing. Valley Crossing <laughs> Elementary School. Um, and yeah, we want to talk through the four fans of, which is to say, if you like what you see in Woodbury, but for whatever reason you want other, you know, other places to consider, then you might like these areas. Before I do that, I say this every video, if you're new here, hey, <laughs> if you're trying to move here, if you already live here and you're trying to buy a home or engage in any type of real estate transaction, get a hold of us. We'll crush it for you. Nobody will work harder for you than we will. This whole relocation thing, first time home buyer thing, we have that absolutely down. We do it, I mean, all the time. We're a busy all team. Time. Love what we do. So if you are at all interested, go to our website, tothetwincities.com, or shoot us an email directly to info at tothetwincities.com. I'm not gonna make this super long. Let's dive in for fans of some other sections, some other areas that you might like. If you like Woodbury, we've already mentioned a couple. The the hits, I'm just gonna like rattle off the hits. The hits. Maple Grove. Maple Grove. Eden Prairie. Prairie yep, yep. Egan, Lakeville. Sure. I think those are for me the closest, but then I think there are some more, I don't know, uh, outside, like where you're like, okay, getting a little creative, a couple things that come to mind. On the northeastern side, uh, perhaps Hugo, Lionel Lakes, that kind of area up there, Centerville is kind of lopped in there. It's kind of has that, that video. It has that newness, you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where, They're like, building on the peripheries. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, the, path, the path of progress is kind of headed that way. Um, some other places, like the way a bit further north, Andover, uh, Ham Lake is too far out Andover there. Andover is pretty darn good schools. Andover is pretty slept on, honestly. Yeah, Andover is pretty awesome. We have a video on Andover too. Check that out. Um, but yeah, kind of that, like Champlin maybe. Yeah. Part, part of it is 
we shot Champlin on a day that feels like today. Yeah, so, we chatted about it earlier, yeah, so, about a year ago, right so, in the river. Yeah, so I think maybe that's why I think, but I, I don't think that's too far off. It's just not quite as like high end. It doesn't have like any of the bouginess. Yeah. You know, those those first four, that's kind of where the bouginess. Those are the most similar. Yeah. The hits. Lake Elmo, still water, similar because it, the schools, right? You, you potentially have access to still water schools. The newer parts of Lake Elmo, which is a lot of any of the developments happening, you know, it, it are around here. Are green in, suburbs. Yeah. Lake Elmo, Cottage Grove. Yeah. Those come to mind as sort of like the next sort of best thing to Woodbury. It's where the metro is growing. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Those are kind of those are kind of the ones that I can think of. You got anything else? Not really. I don't know if I'd go up to Rogers and, you know, St. Michael, maybe. That, yeah. might, that might be a reach. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of a reach. Not, from, from a feel standpoint, absolutely. Schools, maybe less so. No, schools are good, but yeah, yeah. Not, it doesn't have the bougie. It feels a little bit. It doesn't bit, have the bougie. feels exactly. a, little bit, uh, a little bit rural up there, whereas you don't really have any rural moments here. No. You really. know, pretty dang suburban throughout. All right, I, we also are almost out of memory card, so. Hate to see it. Shame on me, but appreciate y'all watching this. Uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified. Say what's up to Nick in the comments. Uh, was he right or wrong about the longitude latitude thing? I still don't remember. I don't remember what he said. This. All right, y'all. See you in the next video. Bye bye.